village of Salamani at six o'clock and we've climbed up to here. We climbed for a solid two hours, which was pretty horrific. I felt pretty sick. Um, but we've made it and I had good news because we found bats in a place that we didn't knew they existed before. Previously there were 17 roosts which have unfortunately diminished to 15 but at least we found another small haven so it gets our roosts up to 16 again. We've only found eight here at the moment but um, one of the men who works up here quite often um, says he's seen about 30. Mm. Les arbres, c'est la plus, la plus principale, c'est celle-là. Mm -hmm. Mais de manière générale, ils sont très nombreux. Ouais. Je pense là qu'ils ne sont pas encore revenus. It's very encouraging to watch him using the binoculars and having a look at the bats and trying to find the best spots and genuinely being interested in them. Um, we've also seen a family of six mongoose lemurs watching them feeding in, um, feeding in an orange tree. Um, I've never seen them in the daytime before, it's normally at dusk, so it was nice to have a proper look at them. One worrying thing about this site is that the species of tree that they've decided to use as their roost tree is the tree that is the most popular to be used for planks at the moment. And down in the bottom of the valley there is a tree that has recently been chopped up and the planks have been taken away. Hopefully they'll leave this tree, I don't know what's going to happen. But at least the good news for the moment is that we found another roost. It's very welcome news after last week, which was quite a depressing week. We were set off to two of our healthiest roosts, or so we thought. The first roost, uh, we found half the bats that we found last time. Um, the reason being, or the reason we can think of, is because the land is very cultivated now. The farmer didn't used to cultivate the land, and now we found bananas everywhere, a new field that had been cut right next to the roost. And I don't think the bats are coping with the disturbance very well. They have moved further over into an even more inaccessible area. Um, there's Since 2003 there have been at least three of the roost trees that have been cut and a lot more big trees around the area have been felled as well. So that wasn't very nice news. But we were happy, or I was excited, to go up to another site called Uzini. It's another steep hike up to the roost. But when you're up there, it's lovely because it's lovely natural forest, or so it used to be. Uzini has recently been victim to the massive flash floods that have happened in Anjouan and Gwankwamal. Well, unfortunately for the Livingstons, what we've just found out is that one of the landslides wiped right through a roost that used to have over 100 bats. This time we found 70. Um, they might come back. Miraculously, none of the roost trees were touched. The bats were all in the same trees that we found them in last December. However, there's a huge gaping hole in the canopy. It used to be a lovely closed natural forest and now the site has completely changed. Also, nobody used to go up there because the land's too steep to carry planks out. But big trees have fallen down, so people are up there chopping the wood up with axes and throwing it down the ravine just causing a lot of noise and every time there's a bang, every time there's a noise they're all flying up in the air so they're not they're using a lot more energy than they would normally hopefully when they've got rid of all the firewood then maybe the bats will come back we'll have to survey them again and see but that's why this is such welcome news to find a roost that was previously undiscovered and hopefully there will be more bats here another day as well Jamie, <laughs> you're the talking with the cats over there. <laughs> <laughs>